Hey guys, it's Disposed Trolley here with my review of the iPad Mini. Uh, now this is quite an unusual product for Apple, uh, mainly because, you know, Steve Jobs was quoted as saying 7-inch um, tablets are too small, and uh, the perfect size was, you know, 9.7 inches, or the 10-inch uh, iPad you all know and love. But um, now that, sadly, he's, well, he's gone, um, you know, Apple's been... Uh, trying to innovate I guess um, and and this is their latest product the iPad mini and I love it I think I think this is a much nicer more personal more focused um, size for a tablet than a 10 inch um, you know it's it's fine real estate is fine on the on the screen the size is perfect 7.9 inches it's not 7 inches it's 7.9 and uh, I, I really think this is this is not a um, companion product for a larger iPad. This is meant to replace or, you know, persuade you to buy this one instead of the larger iPad because well, I think this is much, much nicer form factor. Uh, very small, very light, and very portable for this one. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more inclined on actually taking this to more places than I would have uh, with the original, you know, the large iPad because, you know, it's just so light. I mean, you, you want to keep it with you wherever you go and maybe stick it in a, a dotto case or something and a really nice package you got there um, comparison to an iPhone 5 it, it's pretty much you know, borrows a lot of the design um, cues from the iPhone 5 you got the chamfered edge um, the beautiful uh, the beautiful color choices um, white and silver or, or black and slate you know, the stereo speakers on this one which, um, this is the first iPad to actually, you know, receive the, the upgrade to the uh, stereo speakers. Uh, lightning connector on this one, they're really pushing that connector. Um, the iPad 4 was rushed, um, I think, to update um, the connector on all the iOS, you know, line of products. This is running the exact same hardware as the iPad 2, so that means A5 chip, uh, 512 megs of RAM, um, you know, the usual stuff. Dual core. Um, difference with this one hardware wise so it's the smaller display but also uh, you've got these these lovely metal buttons here instead of the black plastic ones which look really really nice cameras on this one you've got uh, front-facing FaceTime HD camera uh, shoot 720p horrible in low light as you would expect and uh, then you've got your standard back camera on the back on this one it's a uh, it borrows sort of the uh, the sensor and image processor from from the iPhone 4 and um, this is actually uh, a similar lens to the iPhone uh, 4s which is the 8 or 9 element I forget f2.4 lens which is you know quite nice um, a lot sharper on the iPhone 5 than the 4s but um, you know this is still uh, quite good for a tablet this camera um, and you know, until they integrate the 1.8, 1.4 lenses, uh, it's really dependent on the sensor. And, and this sensor is, you know, the iPhone 4. It's it's an aging device now, I think. And definitely, as far as mobile technologies go, it's the sensor is is pretty old, um, terrible in low light. Even in this light, uh, the camcorders on you know three decibel gain and f at f2 um, at 50th of a second and and um, you know, with the iPad, I would maybe shoot some images on the bright area of this desk, but if you go around to where the monitors are, it, it's just not going to handle it um, as as well as the iPhone 4S or the iPhone 5, sadly. Um, but that's fine, because it's a tablet. You're not going to take photos every day with it like you would maybe a phone. Um, but, uh, yeah, the software on this one, what, everything that you love on your full-size iPad um, really does translate to the smaller display quite nicely. And at no zoom, the text is a bit small to read, but uh, obviously, if you if you zoom in, it's it's uh, perfectly readable. A very light device, and you might be worried about the um, the bezel here, but um, it's very smart. It's got some uh, improvements to the software apparently that'll detect if your if your fingers partly on the on the display, and um, it'll ignore those. So that's quite nice. Um, all your programs uh, work the same, pretty much. Uh, I'll just demonstrate Flipboard here. Very good. 
Um, I think it works better on the smaller device than it does the bigger one because well, it's smaller, it's lighter, and it's a much more personal experience. I, I really think um, this is going to be a great tablet for watching movies, um, you know, reading, reading your, your news, reading, reading your books, reading your magazines and whatnot, and even a bit of gaming and um, you know, Dead Trigger. Dead Trigger's a zombie, um, zombie shooter. Everyone loves those. And uh, I don't know, the graphics look quite nice and it runs very well on the A5 hardware. And I don't think, unless you're playing Lily all day, that you really need the A6. I, I know I'm being an Apple fanboy by saying that. But really, the A5 is quite a nice chip for what this device is intended to be. Um, what this device is maybe not marketed at, but what, you know, the uh, market will probably presume it as is, is an e-reader um, at its heart and um, as that it performs really well the only the only problem is probably uh, the screen resolution but um, games run really well as you can see um, very nice frame rate on the games I, I've, I'm really surprised actually uh, Geekbench it uh, scores a little bit lower than the iPhone 5 obviously uh, because it is running on the A5 chip. Great battery life. Uh, I've been getting insane amounts of, of use out of one charge. 100% um, I get about 12 hours. Um, and that's a combination of, of music, uh, web browsing, Wi-Fi is always on, uh, Bluetooth is off. Uh, web browsing, gaming a little bit. I've been playing that, uh, what is that, 1 million, 10 million? I can't see from you. Uh, and words with friends that's, that's become my favorite game again um, so yeah all in all I think this is a very very nice uh, nice product and uh, I'm glad Apple was shifting away from the you know the tight rules and uh, trying to experiment with with uh, different products here and seeing how the market reacts and I think um, any Apple fan would want to, you know, at least try this one out. Um, if you love your large iPad, you'll like this even more, I think. It's just so much lighter and more portable. Thanks for watching, and take care.